There's our new RV and off we go. down on the street <laughs> so it's a good start it's oil everywhere and as soon as we start the vehicle it starts pumping out oil so we'll see I think we need to help getting the vehicle out of here
day two uh, so far it was I'm still uh, yeah so far I still cutting up boards removing uh, old wood I'm starting to see the end of this um, water damage. I managed to remove most, if not even all, of the um, damaged wood. Um, so as far as I can see, all of the water damage is connected to this slide up in the bedroom. So. Um,
left. But this is the new muffler. Picking up materials uh, for the rebuilds in the bedroom. So I got a pretty extensive list. I reckon it will take most of the day to pick this up. And uh, hopefully I manage to get all the right things. It's Friday today, and on Sunday the rebuild starts. I'm gonna start with resealing the whole RV from the outside and then test the seals, just spray some water on there while it's open, uh, open up inside, we'll see if it still has any leaks. And after that we'll start putting everything back together and we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah. So, today's plan and this week's plan is to reseal the RV from the outside and replace all the gawking. We also need to fix the awning that's getting stuck when we retract the slide. So we need to get that fixed. Mm -hmm. And for the inside... And for the inside, we're gonna start to rebuild this. 
you're gonna weld some supports onto these cross members here so we can start rebuilding the floor so first we're gonna put a wooden floor on this mat and then isolation and then the floor itself for this wall here we're gonna use fiberglass to strengthen that up new floor new isolation on the walls rebuild the wall here insert the shower do new plumbing mount the wall pieces here uh, put new flooring in another wall needs to go here and uh, we'll fit the bed So it's now the sixth working day since we got the RV inside. Uh, we managed to get quite far. That put new gawking on, on the under, underside of the uh, awnings, so we wanted to remove them. And they also need to be somewhat more tight. This backslide here retracted the awning got stuck up there between this, the wall and the ceiling. We need to get that fixed. But otherwise, it's new caulking everywhere on this side of the RV, which is the leaking side.
my mom spent a whole day cleaning this carpet with light why I don't know what it is. they are called but one of those water vacuum cleaners so she done this carpet I think it's five times and uh, the sofas and everything so it's very nice so yeah here mounted the walls the uh, sliding doors all works fine the shower we still use this dehumidifier uh, it runs constantly and it's gonna continue doing that until we leave so here's the bedroom the bed is in place and the slide works fine and slides along the floor with Install these rollers back on the floor, and um, this is the cabinets. I've installed those, works fine. And obviously, the closet I'm yet to put the cover on there, but I do need to do some rewiring in there for the reverse camera, so I'm gonna hold on with that. Um, yeah. This is pretty much it. This is the engine hatches. This is how they turned out. Like I'm gonna do some more work on this. Some easier way to to grab these hatches, I guess. At the moment, it's easiest to go from here. Oh. And I get the actual engine hatch down there. So I'm gonna, ah, I'm gonna make something there, so it's easy to grab hold on and remove that. And it's the same for the one in the closet. Turned out quite. I'm quite happy with that. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty happy with that. So, final inspection is done.